Alrighty, we are going to learn how to put a MailChimp subscription sign-up form on your WordPress blog. They have a widget that you can add to your blog. They have a plugin that you can use to create this widget, and we're going to show you what to do. So, first of all, you need to create a, an account with MailChimp, which is an autoresponder service, and you can do that, and you can set one up for free to start with, and that's what we've done here. So, I've created a list called Matt's List. Once you log in, you go up here and you click Create a List. Okay, Create a List again. It's the first thing you need to do, and you name the list. You put the email that it, the list is uh, that you're going to be sending email addresses f uh, from. That's going to be the from email address that people will see when they receive your newsletter. So if they respond to it, uh, they will respond to your email address. So decide what that email address is. In case people have questions, they might want to respond. It's good to have a working email that you look at for that. Um, there's a little reminder um, for people to remind them that, hey, they really did subscribe to your newsletter from your website. So you put a little reminder there about that. You put your address. You have to put a physical address that's part of the Scan Spam Act, uh, which is required when you send out uh, bulk emails to people. And then you can get notifications, daily summary, one by one, uh, when people subscribe. Uh, that can be kind of fun at first, but after a while it gets old. <laughs> You're getting a lot of subscribers. Sometimes it's just fine to get a daily summary. Then you click Save, and you've created your list. We have already done that here, and I have Matt's list. So now what I want to do is I want to let people, uh, give people an opportunity to subscribe from my list to my list on my WordPress blog. I want to put a little subscription form on there. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, here's my one of my blogs that I'm just in the process of setting up. And this is what a subscription form looks like uh, using the MailChimp plugin on your WordPress blog. I have a WordPress blog, and I very quickly created a simple form. And this is what we're going to do. So people, when they come to my blog or to your blog, they can uh, come here and decide to receive uh, newsletter updates from you. And this is how they subscribe, directly from your website. So this is the form that we're going to put on. So I just thought I'd show you what it looked like. All right, we're now we're back here in the MailChimp login. You've created a list, gone through that. Now we click on this little arrow, and we're going to go to Sign Up Forms. Now there's a number of way, different ways to do it, uh, but for these purposes, we are going to use their WordPress pl uh, WordPress plugin. Okay, and they talk about that down here. Learn more. All right. We're going to use the WordPress list subscribe form for uh, WordPress. So the first thing you need to do is to log into the back office of your WordPress blog. So I'm here at the dashboard, and we're going to add a plugin to uh, the WordPress blog, a special plugin that allows you to add a subscription form. So you come here to plugins, okay? And then we're gonna come to add new. Plugins, add new. So here we are in the plugin section of your WordPress dashboard. <clears throat> In the add, we're in the add plugin section. So we're going to go to search plugins and we're going to search for the exact name of the plugin. So the exact name of the plugin is MailChimp WordPress List Subscribe Form. So in the search box, you put MailChimp WordPress List Subscribe Form. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click search. What all I did, actually I didn't click search, I just clicked enter on my keyboard. 
And here I have found MailChimp list subscribe form. So I copied and pasted or typed in MailChimp WordPress list subscribe form in the add plugins area. And I click the enter key on my keyboard. Uh, that's the same thing as search. And I get this plugin MailChimp list subscribe form. So I'm going to install this plugin into WordPress. Yes, I'm sure I want to install the plugin. Now, for on my setup, I have to put the FTP uh, login information for my website. It may be different for your setup, but here I have to put in my uh, login information. That's what I'm going to do. This is my FTP login information. Okay, now I've successfully installed it. Now I need to activate it. There we go. I have activated uh, the MailChimp form um, plugin, and now you will see it is here listed in plugins as active. Now I click on settings. And here you just put some basic information. Here I have my website that I'm just beginning to build is about software. So join our list to get free marketing software. You know, I put free marketing software. You can get more creative than this. I even misspelled this. I did it very quickly. You can get creative. You know, the good idea is to give people an incentive to join your list, to join our list to get free tips about whatever your subject is, get a free course. Um, get our latest updates uh, this is the idea of this is to keep in touch with people who are interested in what you're writing about on your blog right and you could fool around with this but that's basically what this is so I'm gonna update subscribe form settings now has all these other settings here you can you can play with okay I'm not gonna go in through uh, all of them this one's kind of important is what fields do you want to require? Uh, you, of course, have to require an email address. That's the whole point of this. And it's up to you whether you want to require a last name. Uh, just a note, the more fields you ask people to fill in, the less subscribers you will get. I generally go with first name, email address, because it is nice to personalize the emails. And, and you could put a little tag that says first name and their first name will appear. It's a little more personal and you do get better open rates when uh, emails are personalized. Other people just go for email address only. You will get more subscribers, but you will not be able to personalize the email. I do not go for last name. I think that's enough. First name, email address. That's just me. Now we want to go back to the dashboard of our WordPress set up and go to appearance and we go to appearance and we're going to go to widgets okay we click on widgets now this may vary according to the theme you're using on your WordPress blog I'm just using 2011 it's a very basic theme uh, here is the WordPress widget so all you have to do is drag and drop this widget where you want the sign up form to appear say if I want it to appear up here on my sidebar I put it here okay save close now let's look at my blog Wow there's my sign up form okay now when people fill in their email address and name and click get free software or you could say anything you want get free tips um, and uh, so on and so forth that's up to you to be creative you you control what's up here you control what's up here try to give them an incentive to join the list here's my real subscription form that I'm using I'm using a little different strategy I put here a bullet point get six thousand dollars of free software get a rebrandable ebook get reviews of the latest marketing software you know I'm going towards my audience but you have to figure out what's good for your audience but the bottom line is you have now a subscription form on your website on your blog and now people can subscribe to your newsletter uh, and basically you just added a plugin then that plugin added a widget and you dragged and dropped the widget 
over to uh, where you wanted the form to show up. So that's basically it. You can play with it and let me know if you have any questions. It could vary a little bit according to your setup, but it's relatively simple. Spend a little time on it and you can have a nice form on your blog and people can follow up. Um, you could follow up with the visitors on your newsletter. And as far as I'm concerned, it's the number one marketing method there is. Uh, having a, an email list, it's done very well for me. Okay, thanks a lot.